Hey YouTube, no nickname here, and today I'm gonna show you world's smallest transformer from Justy Toys, military transport, also known as Astro Train, in e hobby colors, which means he is in a dark grey instead of white. So, brief look at the box. There is his picture, his uh, figure. Again, their portrait of battle between Dinobots and Devastator. And warning, excessive force is not necessary, transform with extreme care. I will. And materials, ABS and metal. For comparison, here is with a standard AA battery. So now the bio card which has again the, the picture and his text spec and some text which you can read now it has some typos but it's a nice story now the manual I was surprised it is kinda kinda long still going and the other side too so it is <laughs> and now onto the figure itself as you can see he's kinda size of my hand and he's kinda heavy for for his size so there is definitely some metal in here I guess it's the, the legs and the color difference between purple on the metal and, and on the plastic is barely noticeable so it's cool and the gray looks uh, deep and rich I like his thrusters which are very nicely silver and I love his head which, which has nice details and precise paint apps I don't know if you can see that, but okay. I applied all the stickers, uh, which made him a, a lot more alive, especially his stickers on the chest shield. And he comes with his rifle. I don't know the G1 version, so I can't compare it, but as far as I know, he's basically the same with some upgrades. He has bow jointed shoulders, so there's some movement there. And he, he can rotate his head. I don't know if the G1 could do that. Not all of them did. And he has uh, here some extra pack, which holds this, this part better. And now let's transform him into, into his locomotive mode. So I take out his, his gun. Okay. So close the shield and slide it down. Retract his hands, arms. Straight them up like this. and rotate them down right. the figure feels uh, strong and durable but everything is so tiny and joints are stiff so I'm kinda scared of it but uh, rotate is that Right, and the upper half is kind of easy, easier than the legs, which are more scary. So, let's go. Now, this, this part to the side, 
and then up. Same with the I know they say excessive force is not necessary, but it kind of is. Okay, what am I doing here? Locomotive. Oh hell. So back. At least I showed you already how to do that. Okay, now to retract his uh, his legs. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Slide this down. And rotate this. And that's it. So here's Esto train in his train mode. Maybe you can see some difference between the metal part and the plastic part, but it is barely noticeable. So, for size comparison, I have here G1 Warpath, Sea Spray, Come on. he never did that, <laughs> just on the video. And the new third, pa third party uh, sea spray, TOTM guzzle, WST slug, as you can see, he's really small, which you want from uh, World Transformers. So I took some pictures and now let's transform him into his shuttle mode. So rotate this halfway. Rotate the, the little the little wheels and close it. Yeah. And now the scary part which is her his legs. Yeah, I Okay. This is kind of scary. Maybe I don't need to do that all the way, so I try to... Oh, probably I, I do. Oh, cool. So, this part to the side. Come on. other one too. All right. And now to rotate this his cabin. Yes. Okay. But now slide it slide it up. Which is kind of 
scary. Okay. And close this again. Right. And pack it and pack it all back together. And push it back. Now I'd like to say that it is very good to 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 hold him uh, like this because if you would push him and hold him like this you could stress this joint and you don't want to do that Come on. excessive force is not necessary oh, okay and this again down right okay so here is this shuttle mode which again looks nice That's as many details, I love his thrust. Um, as you can see, the stickers aren't very, aren't very dribble. I already made some, some scratch on it. I don't even know how, but okay. Again, size comparison. And now let's transform him back. So the transformation isn't that bad. It's it is easy, but some parts are not that not that mm, I'm not that comfortable with doing some moves, especially especially with his legs. But again, I probably won't transform him very often, so it doesn't matter that much. Now you all, now you again must rotate it, which doesn't feel very good, but okay. And again, push it up, maybe. Yeah. And now you can close it. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Now slide his legs down, which is not that cool, but okay. This one is down. This one is kind of harder. Right, so his leg is done. Move this back. His shield down. Rotate this back. Rotate his head. This is on on double hinge, and it is very nice to. It very nicely holds. Yeah, and now his arms. I help with my helpful screwdriver. And slide down. Okay. 
the other arm the same rotate it all the way up position in or however you want open his shield and slide it higher okay give him his gun and he's done okay so again some comparisons So he belongs among the among the bigger uh, WSDs, but still, still he is very small and looks very nice. I can recommend him. I bought him from uh, Robot Kingdom. No problem. Nice packaging. Quick, uh, quick shipping. So I hope that is all I wanted to say and see you next time.